Hello and welcome back to another video. Where today I'm going to be showing you how to draw something that looks like it's been drawn by a pencil. So let's get started. This video also assumes you already have GIMP installed. If you don't, there's a download link to GIMP in the description. And up here where my mouse is, there should be a card called How to Edit a Green Screen. That shows you how to install GIMP. So now we've got a photo already imported in. You want to click on it in the layer section. You want to go down here and duplicate and press it twice. So we now have three layers. You want to make sure the top one's selected. You then want to go to Color, Hue Saturation, move the saturation to minus 100, and press OK. So it should be black and white. We then want to go to here where it says Mode and Normal. You want to click on Normal and you want to scroll all the way down till it says HSV Saturation, OK. We then want to click on the second layer and we want to right click or just click on it, make sure it's selected, go to Color, Invert. We then also want to go back over to Normal and for this one we want to say, set it to Dodge. And it might go just plain white or incredibly light. That's fine, we're about to fix that. So we're now going to go to Filters, we're going to go to Blur, Glacium Blur. Now we can slowly increase it until it looks right. So I'm going to increase it a bit more. So there we go. And as you can see, it already starts to look like it's been drawn by a pencil. But if we go to the third layer, we can make it look even better. We're going to colour on the last bottom layer here. Levels. And then we can move this one in a bit. Move this one in. And it's just about watering it until it looks right to how you want it. So just move these three arrows about. So that's now too light, so I'm going to move it back, and now that's fine. So that's what I want, so I press OK, and now that original picture now looks like it's been drawn by a pencil, and it is incredibly simple. So when you're finished with it, you go to File, you go to Export As, you then just press Export. Okay, that's already named, it's already named, so you just change it to something. There we go, and we just press enter, exports, exports, and now it's saved, in, or it's been exported. So, that's done. Thank you for watching, I will hopefully see you in the next one. Please consider liking and subscribing. Goodbye, bye.